the course of time of this channel or anywhere beyond that, I've discussed under several fronts my favorite artists of different types of topics. By artists, I mean musicians. Um, like, for example, my favorite musician of the 80s is Oingo Boingo. I brought this up before at some point. I know that for a fact. My favorite gaming musician is Hitao Karu because of Kingdom Hearts. At least originally. That's where I originally found her. Um, my favorite artist that has done, like, comedic kind of music, Weird Al Yankovic. And for a while, Weird Al was also my favorite overall artist, which is another thing I said. And I s extended that beyond the point where it actually wasn't the case. But the reason behind this is because my actual favorite artist, I did not know the name of the artist up until very recently. This is something that piqued my interest when I found out. About 12 years ago, when I was still in high school, um, and I, I believe it was my junior year, I started f uh, listening to different pieces of music through YouTube to support YouTube-based music creators, like Try Hard Ninja, for example. Um, JT Machina is another good example of this. But there was one particular genre of music that you usually would find either in a video game or in raves, if not both, that I actually found hyping up and starting up the topic of beats, or what are known nowadays as beats type music, like Stuff D9 does. Um, and this is probably one of the, th the... This artist is actually... D9 has to thank for me actually enjoying the music that D9 does as well. Outside of the fact that half the time it's parroting or recreating a video game song. But even then, that's rarely ever the case in his case. And his music, how techno or how trance it can be sometimes, if not techno trance, of a variant... He has this specific artist to thank for how much I enjoy his music. And that said artist will be revealed in a bit. I want to give a little bit of backstory on how I found this artist. Now, like I said, about 12 years ago, I was just kind of supporting, looking for different musicians, supporting all these artists. People of Walmart was another good song from that point in time. In fact, I still listen to that one to this day. But there was another one song that crossed my path that was what's considered a beat now that at that point in time was considered categorized as techno dream trance. It was recommended to me when I was coming out of listening to some outro songs, um, the official outro songs for some YouTubers, Markiplier, Game Theorists, and, oh, Game Theory, so it was actually an intro song, but... And then, Jacksepticeye. Mark's and Sean's outro music, and for those who still don't know somehow, Sean being Jack, or Matt Pat's intro song for his Game Theory show, Science Blaster, I'm Everywhere, and Haunted, Sharks Haunted. I listened to those three after listening to people at Walmart, and then after those three, one song was recommended. A song called Melody from Heaven. For a moment, I heard it and I paused thinking, I don't know if I'm going to want to listen to this. And the first few notes of the song, which I'm not going to play on here for copyright reason, um, if you do want to check it out, I do recommend it if you like techno trance kind of stuff because it's like that earlier stage you can kind of get this melodic mellow and yes I mean the two individual terms I'm intentionally doing that melodic mellow and sim not synthetic I guess vibe off of the song 
but you could still tell it was a techno trance. This is why it's called techno dream trance, because of that synthesis in a very melodic sense. Hence the dream part. But Melody from Heaven was a song. I don't know if it was actually written by the same person who uploaded it, but the uploader at the time was user The Ultimate Reaper, who actually is still on the platform to this day, but hasn't uploaded in the past over 10 years at this point. At the time I found the music, I was intrigued by the song. This particular song made me really start to appreciate a very specific genre or subgenre of music. The genre is technically techno trance, techno or trance. Three different genres, but kind of very close to each other. The subgenre is when they added the word dark or dream or world or stuff like that into the equation. It would categorize exactly what feel the techno trance song was trying to give off. And a lot of the time, I went on a deep hunt for techno dream trance. But for the very longest time, I never knew who actually wrote the song. And in a way, this kind of saddened me. At the time I found it, those like boxed iPod things those were still a thing. <laughs> you people with your fancy schmancy touch phones, or like the iPod touches even, forget it. We did not have that. We had to push every button to get to everything, and the only games we had on those were Solitaire, Snake, and Brick. That's about it. <laughs> But the main purpose back then was the music. So what did I do? I went and searched for this song, Melody from Heaven. I could not find it anywhere. It was like gone. Nowhere to be found. And for about five or six years, it bothered the crap out of me that I could not simply find who the artist was. Bear in mind, it is highly possible that at the time of the release of that song on YouTube, it is possible that the artist was the Ultimate Reaper, and they just hadn't come up with an official artist's uh, official musician name yet. As of about a week ago, or two, one of the two, I finally found the musician's name. When I crossed paths with it, it was actually because of the artist, the Muji, I believe is what it is. It's the artist who provides um, uh, the music for the end screens of each Let's Play video that you guys see. I believe it's Limuji. I hope that's how you say it. It, it is spelled that way, L-I-M-U-G-E. L-I-M-U-J-I-I. -I. I apologize if I'm saying the name wrong. But I digress. I was listening to a little bit extension of their music, because it was it is on this platform. You look up that artist, it is on this platform. I heard their song Joy. And then followed by that, because I was using YouTube Music, the app. And following that it recommended one song that was provided by the Ultimate Reaper way back in the day. It wasn't Melody from Heaven. It was actually another song that one that I admit I actually enjoy a little bit more than Melody from Heaven. It's called Dreams of You. I believe. The song had such a it, it, heart. This one had a more harmonic tone rather than a melodic tone. For those who don't know the difference, 
It really is a perspective thing, but the way I look at it, a harmonic tone is more of a higher upbeat in your face kind of thing. A melodic is, it wants you to notice it, but it kind of swerves in the background more or less, if that makes sense. A melodic one is more for relaxation. Harmonic is more for a go out there kind of thing. Good example of this would be, well, I'm gonna use the band, um, the RS Danny, um, shoot, I almost said Danny DeVito. As far as I know, Danny DeVito is not a musician. <sighs> I actually forget his last name. I feel idiotic. Um, and I did not, I'm not scripting this, by the way. Basically, the artist, it's the artist who did the music for the original Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire, and he also did the music for Alice in Wonderland, the Tim Burton one. Great films, by the way. Elfman, Danny Elfman. I don't know why I just remembered it then, but Danny Elfman, he's a good example of this, and the movies I just listed are why. The Spider-Man theme was more melodic. It was more in the background, silent, but noticeable enough to where it could at least stick out. Kind of like the Superman theme that John Williams did way back in the day. It's the same concept. Then came along Alice's theme from Alice in Wonderland. That song is so out there and so upfront. To me, that's what I define as harmonic. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, Dreams of You is very harmonic. It's very out there, in your face kind of thing. Not so much where it's overwhelming or anything, but it gets the idea across. Whereas the song that I was originally talking about, Melody from Heaven, is more melodic, laid back, relaxing, and soothing to the soul, more or less. Now, why do I bring this up? Turns out, when I started listening to Dreams of You, Contacrest was the name of the artist who wrote that one. I highlighted the artist and found so... It's ridiculous. There were so many songs that I've heard by Contacrest over the years because of this techno dream trance, techno epic trance, techno dark trance, you name it. Acreon. Lemu apparently even Lemuji. And Contacrest were the three artists that 12 years ago I had started listening to without realizing that these artists are in no doubt my favorite musical artists of all time. Sorry, D9. D9 is a close friend of mine, that's why I'm, I'm saying that. I love his music, but I guess it's more nostalgia bias on that front. I mean, Realistically, at its core, I don't know if I'd even like this genre of music if it wasn't for the three artists I just listed, or more particularly, Contacrest. Because Contacrest, of all three artists, is the one who's written most of them. And holy crap. If you guys are curious, I'm not going to play the music, again, out of copyright respect, um, but if you guys are curious at all about the artist itself, well, Contacrest, the ones that I knew from back then, um, he wrote, again, Memories of You. Memories of You, not Dreams of You, Memories of You. That's the name of the song that I was thinking of. But other songs that he wrote that I knew, um, you can get off of his album... I believe the album is called Welcome to My Dream, which, when you think about it, makes a lot of sense. That's the same album that had that first song I ever heard, Melody from Heaven. Such a good song, and I loved it, and I still love it to this day. 
every time I practice, like yesterday's vi or not yesterday's video, yeah, yesterday's video of Pac-Man World 2, when I was practicing for that episode, I had that whole uh, album playing from his song, his, her, I'm sorry, I don't know which it is, I'm on the default of saying his a lot, like a lot of people do, their song, out of respect, their song, Melody from Heaven, their song, Dream of, T Dream of Tears, another great song, Happy Fantasy, The Sea, all of these fantastic songs, all in the same album too, by the way, once again, the album name being, I believe, Welcome to My Dream, I listen to that album all the time while practicing, and it is so, so relaxing to me. If it wasn't for the fact that copyright, like the Lemuji, bear in mind, the song, like Lemuji's song uh, that I use, that I always credit in the, um, the description of every video that that song appears in, I only take 20 seconds out of it for the sake of an outro, but that's it. That is literally it. Because it is still their song, and I still think that if somebody wants to check out the whole song, they should go watch that video. I only take from two very specific portions of it, like a lot of people do nowadays, and this is just a known thing. Duh, I'm wasting my breath saying this, right? Maybe not? I don't know. But... Conta Crest... The reason I don't take from their songs as much more nostalgic as those songs are, is those songs, unlike the Muji's, offered up, and it has been proven, it says it on any free-to-use song-type website, it provides those, you won't find Conta Crest's songs anywhere there. And I can understand why, too. You find their songs everywhere on YouTube. That already kind of ruins the credibility. This is not the same case for Lumuji. You can't find anything in Lumuji's songs unless Lumuji themselves has uploaded it. And their music is... All these music songs are great. But to me, nothing will ever beat my finally, I can say, favorite artist of all time, Conta Crest. And if I'm going to be honest... My favorite song of all time, because I know this, I can finally admit, is the song Dream of Tears. This song is so good to me that I ended up writing a piano cover of it at a point. This was back when I was still playing the piano. I don't play it as frequently anymore. If any instrument is played honestly, as much as I was doing, I'm still trying to work on the 1500 instrument challenge, I always go back to this fantastic piece of work and see what songs I can create, I can just kind of recreate through Ocarina. In fact, this artist is so good and their music is so dear to my heart at this point if you guys knew how much hardships I've used these songs to mellow my mind and ease my heart you would be probably surprised but I'm not gonna gush over this for too long I've already been talking for almost 20 minutes but yeah that's my story and now you guys know my official favorite musical artist of all time, Conta Crest, and official favorite song of all time, Dream of Tears. Weirdly enough, wasn't the first song I heard by them, but grew to be my favorite song. Anyway, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. What is your guys' favorite artist or song of all time? Let me know in the comments below. I do check those out every single time we go through. Um, and I am always grateful to see any involved comments. Um, I do end up reading the negative ones as well, and sometimes they make me laugh. At times I'll be like, yeah, okay, I already think that stuff, I already say that stuff, so you keep saying that, but you're getting removed. Bots show up every once in a while, I'll remove those. I do pay attention. 
and this is also why we're continuing the streams because I want to be involved with you guys. So if you're not involved with the channel yet, I do recommend subbing to the channel. I was about to say a different word than recommend. Why not consider subbing to the channel so you can get involved in the th either three days of live streams or at least have fun enjoying either the vlogs like this or the let's plays that come a couple hours later on the opposing three days. But yeah, consider something to the channel. We're working our way to 15, maybe 20k. Hopefully we can get there soon, and when we do, I'm going to reiterate, I am willing to do a challenge of whatever it might be requested at the time to celebrate the 20k mark. Till that point, let's have some fun in the meantime. Thanks again for watching this video, and we'll see you guys later.